Welcome everybody to the world of Minecraft. This is Dallas here. We're back on the LP world, continuing our journey to the ocean. I've been so eager to get back out there. I haven't even really done much around home other than plant some stuff in my river and organize. I'm already ready to go. I'm ready to head out right now, literally. Just put on that. Oh wait, I wanna get my coat. Much better, all right. <laughs> so when we left off, we found um, some coral reefs. We found a treasure map. We didn't find a shipwreck. There's our map, I'm gonna leave it here though. Um, and today I want to find a shipwreck. We're going to a completely different ocean, by the way, and I want to collect, I made an extra shulker box in my inner chest to collect as much sea stuff as possible. Um, oh yeah, I for, oh, oh, I forgot about that hole there. <laughs> I realized to get down those faster because you kind of, it's kind of slower now, you hold shift. That actually helps. Um, I didn't realize that. One thing I want to check up on, I didn't check up on, oh, okay, they're still here. Our bunnies are still here. Good. All right. <laughs> so I got my rockets. We are ready to go. By the way, um, let me go down to the map room. Last episode, we went over to this ocean, and it was all chunky and messed up because we've been over there many times. We have an ocean that way. We have an ocean way over that way. Forget that ocean, though. And we have an ocean down here. We're going down here today, which is that Wait. Yeah, that way. Let's get to it. I brought some extra buckets as well. We're going to try to collect some more fish. And when we get back, we are going to make... Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, that scared me. I knew I saw him. <laughs> We're going to... Oh, there's another one. We're going to try to make the aquarium. And I also want to make a pond and just put a bunch of fish in it. We might do that first before we make the aquarium. Um, all right, liftoff time. Uh, I don't know how far this... Uh, I don't know how far this ocean is. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Um, I believe it's just out. Okay, I'll just meet you out there. How about that? All right, so this is going to be pretty laggy for you guys on your end. I don't know how well it's coming out, but I saw last episode when I'd fly like this. It would get pretty laggy. Um, I think we've been out to this ocean. I don't know how far. Doesn't look... Oh, wait, I see some stuff over there. Let's go. I dropped into the water right here, and look. <laughs> we already got something. So this is definitely going to have a chest in it. I get... I I'm going to be pretty confident. I guess there's going to be... Do I have aqua affinity on this? Yeah, okay. This is like a perfect ocean home. I'm just lucky I have it. Oh. Oh, okay. No no treasure map. Okay, I'm being a little cocky here. <laughs> okay, is there another one? Oh, that was the only one. Oh. Well, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I learned sea pickles make the light under the water and I'm guessing that is a sea pickle right there lucky there that's cool so that means in our rivers around home we can actually uh, light it up so that'd be pretty cool I'm definitely gonna do that and it only lights up underwater of course I'm not getting these ah <laughs> oh okay so this is different over here it doesn't have a bunch of these like coral things like we saw oh yeah it does <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> there it is um, yeah we have a bunch of these all over the ground oh wow this place looks amazing Oh, there has to be a shipwreck out here. Oh, we're going to explore this all today. I'm going to collect a lot of this stuff real quick, though. Check it out. The one feature I forgot about, the whole new water system where blocks that are not full blocks can actually look decent underwater. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, what? What's this one? I'm getting a lot of this coral stuff. There's a lot of different types than I actually thought. So there's actually different... Whoa. There's different types of the same color, which is very interesting. That means there's gonna be a lot. <laughs> All right, um, I got enough of that though. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm actually, I might just make a boat. Yeah. Wait, do I have enough? Yeah. I'm gonna make a boat. What is that mysterious black object right there? Oh my God, is that a shipwreck? Here we go. That's a shipwreck. <gasps> oh my God, look at that one. It's upside down. Oh, this looks so cool. It's like the Krusty Krab. But that's a barrel. Never mind. <laughs> was, yeah, the Krusty Krab's a big barrel, isn't it? I always thought it was an, like an upside-down ship. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and a chest. <gasps> treasure map. Oh, these have treasure maps, too. Okay, that is actually really cool. And a clock. Huh. What do you know? I'm going to take this chest with me. Now, wait. I know what this calls for. I, when he can't see. She pick a Ha. <laughs> um... Whoa, look at that. <gasps> no way. Wait, did they add it? I didn't even realize. Did they add stripped bark? That's what that... Oh, my God. They added stripped... Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Guys, we get to build with stripped bark now. Oh, and the amazing trap doors. <laughs> I don't want to tear this thing apart. This is my first ship I found. 
But, oh man, this is cool. Sometimes ships are bigger, sometimes they have more chests, I believe. Um, but yeah, we gotta... Oh, I'm about to drown, probably. Let's take a look at this. Ah, I'm drowning! Whoa, that's really close. Oh god. Ugh. That's right over there. Okay, let's hope this one isn't a dud, even though I think that is some generated terrain already. Oh boy. Let's hope not. No, what do you mean? I was not trying to get a thumbnail and almost killed myself. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Judging me. Alright, let's do it. Let's hope this one isn't a dud either. Doesn't look like I've been to this land before. Looks generated within this update. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, this is going to be like on actual land from the looks of it. It's going to be like right here. Oh, let's get... Oh, I didn't repair my shovels. Oh, boy. Hold up, shovels, please. Yep, my shovel's already almost broken. Of course. Figures. <laughs> But this seems to be even deeper as well. These are so much different than Java. The Java ones, I'd find like three to four blocks under the... I mean, this makes it more fun, I guess. This goes to show that there might actually be a chest over there where we were last episode. What the heck is that? Is that like bacteria? <laughs> um, or this might just be another dud. It's probably another dud, and I am probably wasting my time. Oh my gosh. You want to know something ridiculous? This freaking crater I dug. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my, what? Where's the chest? I mean, come on. It has to be in soft. I mean, why would they change it from Java Edition? It has to be in the soft area. I have not dug through the hard area yet. I'm going to dig through that about four blocks deep. And if it's not there, I'm calling it and saying it's not here either. And if so, it's going to be just uh, ridiculous. It's not here. <laughs> I already put a giant dent and no chest it had to there had to have been been a chest like right right here right i mean look i'm right on the x if i'm doing something wrong let me know but geez there should have been a chest here <laughs> uh well i'm gonna clean this up and we'll move on <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and grab the cords of this ship because one thing i really miss about my minecraft adventure world is having the adventure log i loved marking stuff so i can always go back to it i'm i went ahead and marked that treasure not found again <laughs> second one um so i'm gonna go ahead and Mark sunken ship. That's a cod, right? Yeah, I think that's a cod fish right there. I think out in these big open areas where there isn't coral, just seagrass and deep waters, I've only seen... Wait, what was that fish? Salmon and cod right here. What's that guy? I guess that's a cod too. Might be a salmon. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so it's only salmon, cod, squid, and dolphins out here. And then those tropical fish only spawn... Now... I know there's different types of water, such as cool water, warm water, freezing water as well. And there's those new biomes of, like, icebergs. They're so cool looking. So hopefully we might be able to come across one. We're just going to keep traveling over that way. I see something dark right there. If it's what I think it is, hopefully it is. Yes, it is. It's another one just like, oh, this one has that accent on it. <laughs> it's like the exact same ship, actually. And another treasure map. Is it the same, I wonder? Oh, it's different. Yes. And we're kind of in newly generated area. So maybe this time we will finally find a treasure chest. You know, the more they're adding these kind of features to the game, the more I want them to add actual quest lines, believe it or not. To turn it into an RPG style game. Like this right here. There could have been a story behind it. They could have just been leaving the shore well, after planting their uh, <laughs> treasure. Or they could have been looking for this map themselves and sunk right out there at shore. Who knows what happened. Oh, gosh. This one's, like, out in the water. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's get to digging. Okay, something doesn't quite add up here. <laughs> Look at this hole I made. Am I not... Wait a minute. <laughs> in this hand, look... It's off a little to the right. You see that? But when I put it full scale, now it's off to the left. Over here. What the heck? Okay, I guess I'll dig here. Jesus, this is a... Oh my gosh, is this worth it? I think there's just diamonds and gold in it. But gosh, this is quite a process. <laughs> You've got to be joking. There it is. I was about to give up too. Okay, do not put it in this hand because that throws you way off look it is right over there but it's telling me the x is like right around there that's why i dug all that out always put it i guess in this hand because now 
That is directly on the X. I was about to think that they like didn't add it yet, and that was gonna be like phase two, and I've been wasting my time, but no. So I need to go back to the other ones and possibly, holy crap. What the heck? Heart of the sea. What the heck is that? It's like a blue slime ball. Heart of the sea. I have the heart. How rare is that? <laughs> now you know me. I kind of keep this stuff secret. I haven't looked a whole lot in the notes of what's been added. Is this dangerous? I have the sea's heart right here in a chest. Is this how the last crew died who buried this? Oh gosh, I don't want this. But I kind of do. <laughs> I have a heart of a sea. <laughs> Wrong chest. Uh, Look at all this. There's TNT. Did I put that in there? I must have, yeah. Uh, wow. Water breathing. Awesome. Okay. I need to clear out some inventory. Ah. Wait a minute. Uh, hang on. I'm Googling. Always go to Google when you need some Minecraft needs. Let's see here. Heart of the sea. Nope. That is not what I wanted. Okay. What the heck? <laughs> not Nautilus shell. There's shells in the game. Where the heck do you get shells? I want a shell. And you surround the heart of a sea with shells, and it gives you a little box. What the? <laughs> Why have I not heard of all that? A conduit. What the heck does a conduit do? Oh, is that like that weird beacon thing? It goes, oh my god, I have so much to learn now. <laughs> Alright, well, we have it. Um, I don't know how rare it is, but we have one. Alright, everyone, I've done my homework. Conduits are amazing, and I can't wait to play with them now. You have to make them with Prismarine or the blocks at the the temple, underwater temple. So that means we're going to have to go visit there now. <laughs> I mean, I was planning on it, but not anytime soon. But now we have to if we want to play around with this. And we got to get those Nautilus shells. I don't know if they're in the game yet or not. Um, found this little area down here. I kind of like the look of it. It's like all blue and purplish. We're going... Oh, yeah. We got to catch some more fish as well. I want to catch a few more um, we're going to collect some coral here, too. And then we're going to head back home and play with some stuff. Wait. Oh, there's one. I can swim. I forgot about that. Oh, look at him. He's like a little red one. Oh, that looks cool. What are you guys? Ah, eh, I'll take you. Why not? Nope. Nah. Okay. Oh. Give me my fish back. We're home. Man, all my kelp is coming up. I guess... Oh, man, it's all white coming up. <laughs> um, I don't know why some of it's dirt and some of it's grass and why it stayed like that for a while, but it's slowly turning back to grass now. And it's making my kelp pop out of the ground. Look at this, by the way. I didn't think of this. Whee! <laughs> this is kind of cool. Um, so we're back home, and we got all of the stuff we're going to play with, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I want to build a pond somewhere. We're still going to build an aquarium. I want to build a pond. First off, I want to try this. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Uh, no! No! Oh no. No, 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 no. What? what? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so I need to place it right there. I forgot these things can be placed in water now. Look at that. A perfect little... Oh my god, I, I love these new trap doors. We're going to have to do so much around the world with them now. Um, I want to try out some of the other ones too, see how they look. Okay, turns out I have like no colored wood in this world. But I had acacia. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that could be used as like a, a drain pipe. No, yeah. <laughs> like a drain pipe of some sort. Let's, uh, I don't know about the color a whole lot, but like maybe like a, like, like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure out something. Where are you all coming from? Jeez. <laughs> all right. The next awesome feature of this update. Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't have the cool sound like Java. Dang it. <laughs> I like this. Um, oh, you can do it under the tracks. That's cool. Oh, boy. This is going to look good. Um, I, I'm not sure. Click it. <laughs> I want to use it for mainly making forests look a little bit different. Such as my, like, big birch forest I have somewhere over yonder through the woods. Literally. Uh, <laughs> we can make that look different. Oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. Now, that wood looks processed and ready to be used. 
Oh, no. oh I can't wait to use it now. <laughs> I'm gonna try it here. I might regret it, but this staircase gets old. Let's make it look weathered as if some of the logs came down with the flu, you know? You know what I mean? Something like that, maybe? Hey, that actually looks kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Am I, go am I doing too much? Yeah, I, I better stop there. All right, shovel repair time. Do we got any repair shovels in here? Oh, we got a bunch of those. Wait, I could probably just combine these. This would probably help. Would How much will that increase by? Okay, tiny bit. How about that? Little tiny bit. And that one. All right, that works. Uh, let's get the... Wait, what happened to my grave digger? Oh, is that one of the ones that disappeared in that update oh that was so sad efficiency three efficiency four so i could actually just ah, ah, well i'll just go oh god is this where this anvil finally breaks <laughs> you know how long this thing has been here oh thank you anvil. i love you <laughs> all right guys so i was about to go out and build a pond somewhere like make that one back there deeper but i forgot we had this one right here oh no but the fish might be able wait i have a fix no i don't Yes, I do. Hang on. Should I kill the zombie? He's been down there for a while. No, he'll stay. Okay, so the water kind of flows through there. Okay, that's not what I wanted to... Yeah, kind of. Oh, and the water still goes through. See that? No, it doesn't. What? That looks weird. <laughs> I thought water... Oh, yeah, I know. I know how to fix it. Be quiet. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so... Get some of that, and then I think you waterlog it. No. Water log it. There we go. Now it looks like it's going through. Should I do it up here too? Yeah. Why not? And water log that, baby. Drown the zombie. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll work for now. Um, but I wanted to see if the fish will actually stay in here. So, what is this guy? A blue yellow clay fish. Where's the one of the tiny ones? A green plum snooper. <laughs> that sounds silly. Um,. Go free, buddy. Whee. Oh, where's he going? Why does he instantly go over there? Well, I'm assuming he will swim about. <laughs> Let's try another one. Um, should we get a puffer fish in there? What about a dotty back? Go free. And you're going over there too. Well, kind of. He stopped. <laughs> what? Why are they so interested in that over there? Will they get out? Okay, I might need to put a block here, but I kind of just want them to float around. We're going to keep those two in there and see how long they'll actually stay in here. Yeah, they're actually kind of they're acting weird now. <laughs> um, can these go on stone, by the way? They can. That is awesome. I think these can just go on anything. Oh, they can't. Never mind. They can't go on sand. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Uh, put a yellow one down there. Pink one right there. And a red one right there. Just give it some color. All right, so since we're up here a lot around this area... Oh my gosh, I want to organize these shulker boxes so much. This is the fishy one, right? Okay. But yeah, um, since we're up here a lot, I made some little dams in my river um, with these, which I think looks really good, actually. Goes good with all the wood accent around here. Um, the, this is for just to have some fish in this general area. And of course, if I ever want them to spread to a different area, you can obviously just let down the little dam doors. And let them go there. The only reason I want them to stay up there is because as of right now, I have a hole right here. And they can drop down there, flop around, and die. <laughs> so, let's pick a fishy. Oh, gosh. Oh, that will stop me from swimming, though. I wanted to swim. Eh, we'll have to think of something. Uh, We can put a cod in there. Should we put a cod? You know what? Let's do it. Go free, buddy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a good size. <laughs> it was just ran their faces into the wall. Um, I don't know if I actually want tropical fish in here. A brown snooper. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he's so tiny! <laughs> um, yeah. But I want to go get a bunch of, like, cod, and I don't know if I want salmon in here, but... Okay, that's kind of annoying how they do that. <laughs> okay. It's all a learning process. I'm learning some new stuff. Um, so only the small coral-looking plants can be placed on grass, while the tall ones... Yeah, like this one's considered tall. It cannot be placed on that. I think it can only be placed on like stone or rocks. Now, moment of truth. Has this thing worked? Oh, we got some bones in here. Yeah, okay, that looks fairly new. It might be working now, hopefully. Um, let's go ahead and get some of this. Now, I, you guys told me you bone meal. 
to get crash. Well, um, I was hoping so. <laughs> Guess not. Uh, okay, you don't bone me. All right. Uh, now I know that. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to try this. I was putting some over here. This will kind of look good. Oh, I wanted to get the taller ones. Um, but that right there. No. Oh, you can't. What is this place on then? Oh, can this one be placed on the actual coral blocks? Okay. Yeah, I have some of those. Let's try that. <laughs> okay, got a pink block. Let's see if this will work. Um, let's go with red. No, you can't place it on. What? Oh. Oh. Does that have to be two? Two blocks? Okay. <laughs> I get it now, I think. Yeah, okay. These ones are just a little bit taller, so they have to be placed. Where'd they just go? No. Oh. I just didn't break them with my pickaxe, so they didn't. Oh, <laughs> lost those. Yeah, you can't place them in one high. You have to place them deeper. Okay, now I know. Okay, oh, there's one back there. I put three in there. Oh, there's one. There's a little brown one, and then he is still over there. That's good. Um, I got a red spotty. I want to see if you can put him in this. Oh, you can. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I was afraid of this and hoping they would find a solution for it, but I don't think they will. So this is the only normal way you could kind of do an aquarium. You could possibly add these in the corner to make it look a little bit better, but it just still looks a little odd, and especially with this glass texture. I can't wait for them to finally add the newer texture or the option to pick it, um, but it just looks weird because when you look through it on this side, it's empty on the other side. It's just strange. I don't get how they're supposed to do that but this is where they messed up in my opinion they should make it where if you place water on the inside like this it should flow all the way to this glass right here and fill up these empty spaces because this would be the best looking aquarium right here um so yeah <laughs> can't really uh make it we'll we'll, ha we'll make one like this but well it's gonna be big and chunky looking i'm trying the bone meal on here too but it just doesn't work on grass so i'm guessing it's only oh it is dark in here you have to have stone no how do you grow seagrass are the fish getting in the way no what <laughs> i see other people do it the same blocks i don't understand i thought of a great idea um by the way i saw this in a picture this is a good idea since you can now place fences and stone fences or cobble fences in water now you can do kind of stuff like that I don't think that looks nice. Um, okay, see this tube right here? That has been there for I don't know how long now, and it hasn't been used in a very long time. It can't be used ever again because um, down there where they used to spawn is all kinds of stuff built through it now. I need to plug up this hole too. So what I was thinking actually is we need to get rid of the signs in there, and we can possibly put some dirt right there, grow some kelp, like grow some kelp, and they'll grow pretty tall, and then fill this thing with fish. Now, let's be honest. Do you think that would be cool? Because I think that would be really cool. <laughs> Walking by here and just seeing uh, like a fish galore in there. And it'll be cool because it's kind of like a, it's like a tall cylinder aquarium. And it's just right there ready to use. We're going to have to do that next episode though. So um, you can look forward to that. I might do it in between episodes. <laughs> All right. So we got two comments for today since I wasn't able to do one last episode. Uh, first one is from It's... Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> I'm too short. All right. First one is from It's Magoo, and they said, favorite subject at school. And the other one is from Mr. Golden Pigman, and they ask, plans for the new Java series. So, first one, um, favorite subject at school. What a coincidence, because I actually just went to my school to apply for co fall classes. Um, and I, I'm i going for business. That is my degree I want to pursue and am pursuing. Um, and I needed a science class and zoology was one of them and that blew my mind and it i was like i mean zoology for <laughs> um whatever whatever uh business i'm gonna put some of these pickles in the river uh, that's just what blew my mind because in high school that's what i wanted to be when i grew up a zoologist or whatever oh it's like different light levels that's pretty cool um and just to see that that surprised me and that made me super happy so i actually can't wait for that one but my favorite subject I guess I was always a history person. I am not a math person. That's for darn diggity darn sure. Um, <laughs> just hate math with a passion. Uh, hey, buddy, you want some light over here? Let's put some right there. I kind of want all four of them, but 
I guess it'll be fine. Scattered. But yeah, history was always my favorite. I kind of liked it because I just like learning about the world. Um, the other question was, what are my new plans for the Java series? Yes, my friend, I know. <laughs> I've had, like, many Java series in the past, and, like, as many of you may know, they just kind of short, they're, like, short-lived. And the reason for that is, I, I, like, I took a break. Never take breaks when you just start a series, because then you come back and you're like, oh, crap, what was I doing? <laughs> um, but my new plans is just to play strictly survival. I'm still going to give myself challenges, because that's what makes it fun for me. If I just go in straight survival, it just will feel like this world, and um, I, I'd want to come back and play this one instead. But I need to give myself challenges to make it more interesting and keep myself addicted to it. And once we build up an empire on there and a huge house and just all kinds of fun stuff, then I won't want to keep constantly coming back to this because that was one of the big problems for the, most of my Java series is I, like, I missed this world. <laughs> um, which, by the way, when we do start it, this world is never ending. That's the problem with it, though. It's like, if I do end up coming back to this world, I'm afraid I'll put the Java on hold. I'm just in a big pickle. <laughs> Whatever, though. We'll figure something out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.